To create a path and job with CAM Pack, select CAM function in the CAM function menu on the home screen. The CAM job management pop-up window will then appear. Select the application type, create a job name, change the group set if needed, and add a comment if desired. Select the add edit box in the CAM job management window. If this is the first time using CAM function, you may have to adjust the default path setting before selecting the add edit box. The Add Edit box will open a new window called Create Job with your job name in it. Check the Pick Edge box and click an edge of the part at the beginning of the weld. You may need to select the alternate face and or alternate edge to get the correct surface and edge you need to weld. The top left right arrow keys allow you to increase and decrease the path. Check the Process as One Edge box to combine multiple sections. Select the Create Path box and the Path Settings window will appear. The path setting windows contain some of the following tabs. The teaching tab is the start positions motion type, speed, gives option for position level and or an offset. Also allows for position level and an offset for the endpoint. The intermediate points can be adjusted to automatically set between a linear and circular path based upon the settings in the tab labeled special. The intermediate points can also be manually set to be all linear or all circular. The robot speed and position levels are also set here. There is a box to reverse the path if needed for single sections. The Approach Depart tab allows you to add an approach and or depart positions and its location, the point of reference, the robot tool or target, and the distance from the part in which direction, X, Y, and or Z, along with the motion type, speed, and if any position level is required. You can also call a job before and or after the path. The Start End conditions allow you to select the weld files or manually enter custom settings for the weld. The Torch Position tab allows you to set the angle of the torch in reference to the surface and if a push-pull is needed in the path. Once all settings are confirmed, select the OK in the lower right-hand corner. Your path has now been created. Before texting your path, you must register the initial position to establish the orientation of the robot. The positions can now be verified. With the Robot Sync box checked, the robot will move to each position as we move through the job. Once the path is verified, we can now run the job.